Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to do a journal page here with Sundays with Sandy and I'm going to be using my Lindy Stamp Gang Flat Shot in the Caribbean Blue which is brand new. I haven't used it before so I have come. they come with powder in them. This is the set and how you get them. So you can see they all have powder in them. And you can see these are brand new because I've only opened up one before. This is my second one. And I've really enjoyed using them because, as you know, I love to paint with them. So, for me, this is a really cool way to use an ink. It comes in a tube. I don't even have to spread it out or anything. So, I'm enjoying this. So, anyway, I put my powder in there. I mean, my powder is in there. I put my very hot water in there. And then I just shook it up and let it sit. And now what I'm going to do... Well, this is a really pretty blue, too. I might have to make this a little bit lighter. Wow, isn't that a gorgeous color? So I'm just going to paint my background on here and after I finish painting it, which I think I might dilute that just a little bit, let's see here, um, then I'm going to let it dry and then I'll be back. I have discussed this before that the delusion book is not made for a lot of wear and tear so when I was brushing over and over on my page to smooth it out I hope you can see the little peeling up that occurs but it's no big deal all you gotta do is just brush that off and in this case it gives a nice cool spotty effect which is pretty cool because I was getting ready to put some water on it anyway I let this dry for 10 minutes and now I'm going to spritz some water on it and see what happens with that. Hopefully it will be the same way as the delusions where I get the, um, the lift from the water. So let me grab a paper towel here. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of water on there. I'm trying to create a cloud background, a sky background. So that's why, oh yeah. Pick it up very nicely. And I'm just going to go back with my paper towel and just blot. Oh, yeah. Enjoying that. I want to do a little bit more. Go ahead and start blotting that up. Oh, very cool. Okay, so now that I have really wet my paper by doing this, I'm going to let it dry and then I'll be back. One of my favorite inks to have on hand is the Delusions White Linen Ink Spray. And I love it because when I want to dilute colors, I can do that. Now I want to make some clouds in this case. So I'm just kind of spraying on. And these are going to be my some background clouds. Alright. I like that. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be back again. Okay, so now everything is nice and dry. I just absolutely love the white ink spray on top of this Caribbean blue flat shot by Lindy's. That's gorgeous. Great depth for my sky. Now I'm going to attempt to draw something I've not drawn before, but we have our sidewalk art coming up. And I'm kind of in this penguin mode. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I want to do a penguin in the sidewalk chalk, chalk art festival. So, y'all might have to uh, bear with me with some penguin art for a while till the festival's over anyway. Let's see. I don't really know what penguin feet look like. They're webbed. Well, we're gonna guess. I like a duck's feet, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's a penguin flying in the air, so they don't fly either. But he flies because he can have his own wings. And that's what is important. Making our own wings. So, he's going to be held up 
with balloon wings. So it's going to have a little tie there. And then the wings, excuse me, the balloons are going to come up this way. Okay. And I have to talk to myself when I'm doing stuff like this. I don't know about you, but it works best for me. So I'm going to do lots of balloons. And I've got to have some in the front and some in the back. So we have some depth here. Okay. Don't forget the strings for each balloon. Let's see, this one might be the one in the back. So I can do a balloon in front of it. And Go. String going down there. And a string will be coming down there. Let's see, so that'll be the one in the back. Um need another one there. And I think that'll do it. String coming down there. There you go. Okay. It's kind of hard to see because of the background that I'm coloring in, but I think I'm liking it. Alright. I'm going to play with around my gelatos too. So it says big and I don't want it to be colored in. And he has black wings, white tummy, and a black head. And there. I don't know what I'm going to have to do with that white yet. Um, that might end up having to be ink. But we'll see. Okay. So now I'm going to color in with my gelatos. And I'm just going to try them in different ways. Um, one of the ways is just going to be putting it on here. And using I might use a Q-tip and see how that works for spreading that out in some of these smaller spots. So that's kind of where the he is. This one is melon, metallic melon. Could be one of the balloons. And this one is no name, something pink. I'll put it over here. And I really have no idea how it's going to go over on top of the ink sprays, but if you know me, you know that's one of the things that I like to do is experiment and play in my journal. That is the fun of having a journal. This one was watermelon. This one is raspberry. start going back over them again. So we'll put a melon one over here.
I really like how he's going. Um, having a little bit of a problem with the gelatos uh, covering the uh, ink a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and spray um, this with a working fixative by Helmer and come back and see then after it dries if the gelatos and the inks will cover each other just a little bit better. Okay, back in a few minutes. Okay, so as you can tell also before, I did go back with my water brush instead of the Q-tip. It just works better, I think, with gelatos. It's just uh, my preference. So anyway, now I'm just going to see what happens. Since I did spray it with a fixative, now this is a workable fixative. So let's see what I get. See if that will cover that up a little bit better. Okay, maybe a little bit better. And I've got two different purples going on here. Change that one to that. This one is a metallic, metallic grape, I believe is what it's called. Okay, and the other one was the raspberry. And I'm not using very much water in my brush. It's like a damp brush, really. Okay. Alright, now, I'd like to play and see if that white gelato is very opaque or not. I've not really played with it very much. I have to clean my brush off. So, I know my white ink will do real well. But the whole purpose here is to see how the gelatos will do over the inks and things. Like I said, my journal is something I use to play with my techniques and see how I like them. So, let's give it a whirl. I'll smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to come back with my water brush. Okay. That's doing pretty well. Now let's see what happens when we add the water with it. Okay, now, that's not bad. It's really not too bad. I'm going to add a little bit of black here so I can do a little bit of blending. Just outlining that. And let's see. I'll smudge that a little bit first. And I think I'm going to take my finger and just bring that out a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I think this would make a cute little sidewalk chalk, chalk thing. Okay, I don't mind this, but I want it to be more opaque. I don't want to see the sky through him. So I'm going to try and see how I'm going over with my ink now. If that's going to help or not, I don't know. But it's always worth trying.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, Secure Black Glaze Pen and outline the balloons and bring down my strings and possibly outline him a little bit too. And then I'll put his eyes in and then we'll come back and do the lettering and it'll be finished. Alright, so go on to do that. Okay, last thing that I want to do before I do my lettering, as you know, I have to play with my little tool because I just love, love, love this. So this is a dried uh, distress marker and I put pink tape around my dry pens and that way I know that um, I can use them in the way that I'm going to get ready to use it, which is by dipping it into ink and spraying. Now, if you hold your pen with your... Uh, sprayer <laughs> really close and you do really hard sprays you get more uh, of a condensed spray so I'm kind of doing that around his feet a little bit because I want him to kind of look like he's coming out of the clouds so I kind of want to put some of the clouds in front of him too and then the further that you hold your sprayer away, the wider your spray pattern will be. And hopefully this is going to give him kind of a dimensional look like he's just come out of the clouds. So I'll have this cloud behind him and this cloud um, where he's coming out of. Okay, there we go. So we'll let that dry a little bit and then we'll be back for the lettering part and that'll be it. He turned out really cute. I love him flying up through the cloud, those little balloons. I did go back through and add the strings for the ties to his arms or his wings. I had forgotten to do that. I added a little bit of color and his little eyes in. And now I'm going to do the letter. Now I'm just going to do it straight across the bottom here. And I have my little sheet that I printed out so I can refer to it if I need to for the letters and how they're formed. And I'm going to use my little um, right edge here to hopefully give me a straight line. And I'm going to use my glaze pen. And let's see, I think I'm just going to say, make your own wings and fly. Because sometimes we have to do that. We just have to make our own wings and fly. So make your own. Okay.
Okay, there you go. I think it turned out to be a cute little page. I hope you have a lot of fun. Make something, make a journal page, a layout, a card, whatever you want to make. Um, use the Limbo font. And if you do use the Limbo font on whatever you create, please upload it to the Frosted Designs blog. Put it in the file folder for this month's challenge so you can be in for the drawing for $30 worth of free products. Well, actually $30 gift certificate for free products to the Lindy Stamp Gang store, which is an awesome, awesome gift. Thank you, Lindy, so much. You are so sweet for doing that to me. So, I hope y'all had a great week. Hope you had a great Sunday here with Sandy. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.